Greetings! I am Herbert Herbert Herb, and predictably it's time for Ask a Herbert Herbert Herb again. Are you ready for questions? No, neither am I. Am I going to answer them anyway? Well, yeah, I suppose so. First up, Martin Gotham said, I have some stat cards I don't want. Would you like to have them? Without knowing exactly what the stat cards are for, I don't think I would have a use for them really. I haven't actually played any games that have stat cards for ages, but I think I have all I need, though I do appreciate your thinking of me. Trekan Belovich said, Thoughts about your stash of models. Are you happy that you have a variety of models you can choose from when you want to build something? Do you sometimes think, what have I done? Or wish that some imp would come and do at least some of them for you? Of course, the way you want them to be. I'm pretty happy to have a good stash of kits, and I feel like it's a good idea to have a reasonable backlog of stuff to build when, like me, you're making a video pretty much every week. I don't have to worry about not having something to make a video about, or not having something to build on stream. It's also nice to have plenty of choice. I've got larger, more complicated stuff I can work on, though it takes a longer time, or if I need or want a break from that, I've got plenty of smaller things that can be done in one or two streams. And that's nice too. I don't think so much, what have I done, but I do every now and then tell myself, No more buying kits for a while, Herbert. You have plenty. And sometimes I stick to that. Yesterday I bought two kits, so I'm not sticking to it very well. I would rather not have some imp or anyone build kits for me because, well, that's the fun of it really, at least for me. You might have noticed that I rather like putting models together. Sure I might turn into an old, well an older man with a room crammed full of kits that I'll literally never have time to build, but I think that's better than having too few. I can imagine it being frustrating wanting to build a model but having no models to build. God himself said, are you sexually active? It's not really an appropriate question. I mean, YouTube doesn't seem to appreciate even educational material about sex and sexuality, even though that is an important topic. I'll probably get demonetized just for saying that. If you were really God though, you would know that I am. Probably be thankful that you're not an all-seeing God. Crocodile wearing Crocs said, You said you're a bassist, so ever play double bass? Not since high school, and the ones the school had were, well, they worked. They were in quite poor condition though because teenagers generally don't respect things. I've never really had the opportunity since then, nor the inclination to buy one for myself. Ratto said, Does pineapple belong to pizza? I'm not sure if pizzas can own things, but I guess if a pizza wanted a pineapple, I would allow it. It occurs to me that you might be asking if pineapple belongs on pizza. And it does, because it's delicious. It might not be surprising that I'm the kind of person that thinks you should have whatever you like on your pizza, and people who get bent out of shape about it can go and get their own pizza. I could do with some pizza now. Kinda hungry. Head of Secret Science Boys said, Do I have permission to use the secret tank? Of course, just make sure that you keep it secret. Loki said, Does banana belong on your pizza? My pizza? Hmm, I don't know. I have heard of pizza with banana on it, but I've never tried it, though I would. It doesn't really seem like something that would be on the menu at the local Pizza Hut, and I don't think I would like it, so I would be hesitant to buy a pizza with banana, but I would try it because why not? Jan Tima said, Can you make a Pizza Hut out of a KV2 turret? Actually, I don't think you could. You'd probably need a group of a few KV2 turrets together, which would still be cool. I would definitely go out of my way to buy pizza from a KV2 turret shop. Trekan Belovich said, Do you make the memorial series for a special reason? Maybe the name of one of your ancestors is on one of those, or are you just interested in the topic? As we know, you're not a big fan of painting soldiers in 15mm. What do you dislike more, painting the little shooty men or basing them? I don't have a special reason for doing the memorial videos, I just figured it would be something interesting, and I was initially surprised by how many there were around the city when I was considering if it was worth doing. So it seemed like something I could do consistently for quite a while. Also it's a good way to get out and go to places that I probably would never even see. And also just being outside probably has some kind of benefit. Making modelling videos does require a lot of time spent in one place, so I wanted some variety. Also, I wanted something I could do that puts the equipment I have to use. 
I've had a nice gimbal for my phone that was barely getting any use, and then I got a drone, so it's a good excuse to use those and try to do some interesting camera work and stuff, and I've been enjoying that quite a lot. And of course I am just interested in the topic. I think it's important to remember the past, and why wars were fought and the people that died in them. As for 15mm figures, I would say that I prefer basing over painting. Of course that's not to say that I hate painting figures, I just prefer doing other things. But I do think basing is fun, you get to tell a little story with each one. Ratto said, Do you have a camcorder? European camcorders under 1000 euro are all 25 or 50 fps. Are they 30 slash 60 in Australia? I do not have a camcorder, and I haven't really thought of getting one lately, but I was looking at some still cameras a few weeks back, and noticed that a lot of the ones in my price range, that is to say cheap, tended to shoot at 25 fps and mostly at 1080, which I guess for something not really focused on making video is probably perfectly fine. While I was thinking about it I decided that I didn't need the extra cost and I've already got a gimbal for my phone, and it's more than effective enough for what I need. I'm pretty sure the reason for the 24 or 25 frames a second thing is that it's been the standard for cinema for billions of years. Why the cheaper cameras don't have more options I don't know. I guess that's just a thing with cheaper equipment, fewer features overall. I suppose it probably means that the salesperson can say, If you spend a few more dollars you can get this one with 4K and more frames! Is that a cynical way to look at it? Probably. I'm not sure I've answered this question adequately. Smose said, Do you dedicate a lot of time for making models, with the 135th stuff and videos every week? If you do, how do you not lose motivation? I would say, really, that I spend more time editing videos than actually building models, which is fortunately something that I don't hate, but I do spend a lot of time doing modelling and modelling related things. The thing with the 135th scale stuff, which I guess I have been doing a fair bit lately on stream, and videos every week, doesn't actually mean there's a lot of model building going on. I do stream pretty much everything I build, and amongst the 135th scale stuff I do try to put enough smaller scale things in to keep videos going. Things like 15mm scales of Vesda, or some Warlord kits and things like that. Stuff I can put together in one or two streams. And I do this to try and maintain a backlog of videos. Not completely finished ones, but sets of clips ready to be edited into a complete video, so that I don't end up having to rush something just to have a video ready. That way I can take my time and build on stream at a pace that doesn't burn me out. I've found the way for me to not burn out or lose motivation is to be mindful of what I'm doing, and deliberately take the time to do non-modelling things which are important, like exercise or looking after my pets or listening to audiobooks or spending time with people that matter to me, even if it's just to play a video game. It doesn't really matter what it is, as long as I'm not focusing on one single thing. To be honest, as I get older, that's easier and easier to do. I've learnt that variety is a good thing. That said, most of my time is spent doing models or model related activities. Fortunately, that is something I really enjoy doing, or I would have burnt out and lost motivation years ago. Alexander the Meh said, Will you paint the Hungarian 75mm assault gun? Since it's a great meme here and on stream chat, I think painting it would be nice, plus it's Hungarian and interesting. Ass. It is one that I chose last time I was thinking of what models to paint when I was doing some priming, so I do plan to do it soon, with the little trademark sign next to it that you can't see because this is spoken word and not text. I do agree that it's an interesting vehicle and it should be fun to paint. John Crosby said, Can you play your guitar on stream please? There's a couple of reasons I don't feel like that would work. Firstly I play bass, and without amplification you probably aren't going to hear it, and I don't have an appropriate audio interface to hook it up. Also there's not really enough room at my desk to sit comfortably with any of my basses. I have tried, and there is definitely not enough space for my amplifier, which would probably also sound bad coming through my microphone. Never say never though, I might try and do that one day. In the comment section of last fortnight's Ask a Herbert Erpaderp, Trekan Belovich said, Short, but I smell the scent of Ask a Herbert Erpaderp still. Wait, or is that my screen burning? Ah uh, yes, the post Ask a Herbert Erpaderp electrical fire. Don't throw water on that. Yan Tima said, Those mice are so cute, can we get more videos of this kind in the future? I'm obviously inclined to agree that they're very cute. 
the video I used last fortnight and did upload separately a bit before that, was actually a test shot, and I have been thinking about doing more videos about my mice, and maybe my fish. It does seem like a good use for my GoPro. I do need some different mounts for it though. I wasn't totally satisfied with how I did it last time, and I don't want to just drop the camera into the cage for what I think are probably pretty obvious reasons, though I am thinking of getting the waterproof casing for it and dropping it into a fish tank. That might be fun. Corrupted360 said, Can you reply to this comment? No. Fuck. I mean, yes. Yes, I will. Ed Cooper said, Do you have any tips on how to quickly paint lots of small figures? 172nd scale. I'm not really a fast painter, especially when it comes to figures, so I don't think I have any specific advice for painting figures quickly. What I would do though is paint them in a big batch. Uh, maybe not the right expression. What I mean is do one colour on every figure at the same time and then proceed to the next colour, rather than painting figures in their entirety one after the other. If you've got an airbrush that'll speed up base coating, which is probably obvious, and somebody will definitely disagree, but if you want to get them done quickly, don't worry too much about fine details. Do quick highlights with dry brushing, use washers, and don't worry about painting eyes or other fiddly bits like that. I mean, you can if you want to, but if you want to get stuff done fast, you can't spend time messing around. It's a quality versus speed thing, I suppose. Hopefully that's at least somewhat helpful. Martin Gotham said, Would you ever build a Dalek if you had the chance or time? And would it speak? I wouldn't be opposed to building a Dalek. That would actually be pretty fun, I think. I doubt I could make it speak though, for I am not skilled with the electronics. I'd have to do the voice for it myself, and that would probably be kind of disappointing. Okay, that's all the questions for this fortnight, and you know what that means. No, put that chainsaw down. It's time to check out some of the models that have been shared on the Discord community over the last two weeks. First up, Ratto has shared Sir Gregor Glegane, however you say that, the mountain that walks, I guess. Ratto doesn't have the mounted version, but that's okay. This figure looks amazing, particularly that nice vibrant yellow. It's bright without being obnoxious and looking out of place. The mountain is accompanied by this band of merry men who Ratto is sure are all very nice, decent, civilised people. Yeah, they probably are. And here's the entirety of Ratto's Lannister project completed. We did see a bunch of these last time, but why not show the whole lot done because, well, obviously they look awesome. As always, excellent work by Ratto. Trekan Belovich shared this flight of BF109Es. These are very nicely done, and they look like they're going to cause quite a bit of trouble in the sky. These are 1 200th scale resin planes by Warlord for the game Blood Red Skies, which I guess explains the stands that can be tilted back and forth. A neat idea, and very nice work. Alexander the Meh has shared a third Sherman, another French one, this time with the name Philipsburg. Also some hand sculpted sandbags on the front which I believe are Alexander's first attempt at doing these. I think they look pretty good, as does the entirety of the model really. I understand there will be some additional stowage added later, which I think can only add to this. Keep up the good work. Armored Jerboa, after watching my recent video about this little vehicle, decided to share their own Zvezda SU-76M. This is one of the kits that got them back into the hobby, so that's pretty cool. Armor Jaboa says the paintwork is awful, but I disagree. Though I do agree that it's nice to go back and look at your old kits. It's a good way to see how you've improved over time. Ethic has been showing off some amazing work on this helicopter. This is obviously incomplete, and there's probably been a few more images shared since I prepared this video, but I'm sure you'll agree it's awesome. I'm very much looking forward to seeing the finished model, which I will almost certainly share in an Ask a Herbert Erpaderp. I just wanted more people to see this amazing detail work. It's a lot more effort than I think I would normally put into the inside of a model, but it is something I really enjoy seeing, and hopefully it inspires some of you. And that's it for the models this fortnight. As always, a big thank you to everybody who shared their work, even if it hasn't been shown here. Thanks to all the askers of questions, and everybody who watches my videos. I very much appreciate it. Also, I noticed the other day that I'd passed 13,000 subscribers, which to me is an astounding number. I try not to focus too much on numbers, but I feel like it's important to say thanks. So, thanks. Ask a Herbert Erpaderp will be back in two weeks, and next week will be the 10th Memorials video, and I think you'll like it. 
there's a cool gun. So check that out when it's up. And in the meantime, feel free to ask your burning questions in the appropriate locations. If you've not done so already, why not subscribe, follow, ring the bell, become a patron or YouTube member, or maybe just come say hi on Discord or Twitch. Links to all of my things are in the description below, and as always, I shall return soon. So until then, be excellent to each other, and thank you for watching. Farewell.